Okay, hello. We're going to be talking about strange function questions. These are the questions that have those weird symbols that you've never seen before. And I want to make sure you understand that you're not supposed to know what these symbols are in advance. They're made up by the SAT. And what we just need to do is to follow the directions and substitute in either numbers or letters in exchange for the variables that are already in the strange function. So let's look at how to do this. Fundamentally, this is all about substitution. Okay, so the symbol is not something you should have known, so you just need to substitute. So in the example below, we have x and y equals x plus y divided by x. What is 3 and 12? So what we're going to do is take out the x and substitute in a 3 for wherever we see it. And do the same thing with the y. Take out the y and substitute in 12. That will make 3 and 12 equal to 3 plus 12 divided by 3, or 5. The more complicated these are, generally uh, implies that they have more variables in them. It doesn't matter. If it was a and b here, we would just be a plus b divided by a. It doesn't matter whether it's variables or numbers. It's still a straight substitution question. So let's do a little bit more of a challenging question. Here we have two strange functions defined. We have an at function and a percent function. Again, these have nothing to do with their real, real meaning. They're just being used as placeholders for functions. So if I say 5 and m equals m percent 6, then m is equal to what? So here you're thinking, wow, I've got two equations. How do I do this? Just do them one at a time. 5 at m. We're going to replace x with 5, y with m to yield 10 plus 3m. m percent 6, we're going to be replacing the x with m and the y with 6 in the second function, yielding 4m plus 12. Now that we set those equal, we have a nice algebra equation to solve. And solving we yields m equals negative 2. So remember, these look very complicated, but they're actually quite easy. Just believe in yourself that if you substitute, they will work. So now let's take a look at some SAT questions related to strange functions so that you can master this topic.